you know, obviously being inside, I think, gave our guys a little bit of a spark. And uh, I thought they responded in practice well today. So I'll take some questions. Have you seen Winston scramble and get more comfortable with his scrambling and throwing? Yeah. Um, you know, I, there's probably been a you know handful of times during camp that we've seen him you know, get on the move, and 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 I think he's looked good in that in that situation. From a physical standpoint, how encouraging is it to see him? You know, obviously, looks like he's moving around just fine, right? Yeah, it's encouraging. Um, you know, and and even more so is is the execution that we had today. So um, that's encouraging. Uh, so look, we just keep we just keep uh, keep pressing each day and, and trying to get a little bit better. Yeah, look, it's a tough man's game played by tough people, and, and uh, so I like that about him. Um, I, see, I think he's I think he's improved uh, since we had him in the spring, and again with all these guys, you know, I don't want to get too too high or too low on any of them right now. I want to just continue the evaluation process, but I like the direction he's headed. Yeah, well, look, it's difficult anytime you lose any starters, um, and certainly when when it when it uh, you know hits you a little harder in one area, um, and it's concentrated a little bit more in one area, it's 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 a lot more difficult. And I think that's why you know um, we spend so much time in the off season focusing in on trying to you know build the depth of the football team, and uh, and so so yeah, that you know test your depth. And, and uh, uh, you know, look, we'll face something again like that this year. I don't know where it's going to be, what the adversity is going to be, but you have to be able to respond. I know that you are a young man, but when you see Connor Payton, your first year at 06, he was like 10, and now he's out here doing an internship. Is that kind of neat? And also, in some ways, Sean, I guess, is still. Well, yeah, it, it, yeah it's, a neat, but it's neat, but it is a reminder that I'm, I'm, I'm no longer in the young category. I don't think I'm starting to... Um, age myself just a little bit but but uh yeah it's it's uh it's cool it's awesome uh, connor's a great kid and uh we're excited about having him having him out here do you see a lot of his dad in him when you, when you whip? i see a lot of his dad in terms of uh his looks and and expressions um i don't know if i see quite the 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 the, the grit out of him that i might have seen out of out of uh out of sean Well, look, you know, I feel like I get asked about Paulson a lot there in this camp, and, and the answer is really still the same. I, I think he's he's much more confident in what we're doing uh, defensively. And I think this, I think when you have some success as a football player, um, confidence breeds confidence. And so I think he's coming into this thing knowing that he's a pretty good football player and, and working to, uh, you know, to, to, can, to, to get better at, at – at, at his craft, and uh, and you see it out here every day. Dennis, when you see like the people when you're doing, there's always a fine thin line whether the official calls the flag or not. Have y'all noticed you know, when you get your hand in, you want that jam? Yeah. Is that something where you want the officials in here to analyze that? Yeah, and we'll have the officials here at some point during during training camp. Um, uh, and and it's something that we pay attention to. Um, we want our guys to be physical on the line of scrimmage, and and I think our guys do a really good job of that. And we're constantly teaching, you know, when is it okay to be handsy and, and, and when do we have to make sure we get our hands off? So that's all part of the process. When you looked at him, you didn't, you haven't found that to be a problem no. in previous days? No. no. With the big pass play to Hardy late in practice, where, where do you see you got all these new wide receivers who are obviously very talented, but he brings a unique skill set to you? Yeah, he brings some, some, some speed uh, to the group. Um, and, and look, we utilized him in that role some last year. I think that's still a role that uh, that he can excel in for us. And um, I, look, I think it's a I think it's a much deeper group um, than where we were last year. And so there's a lot of guys that have a lot of different skill sets, and 
we'll find the things that they do really well and try to put them in those positions as much as we can. When you talk about Jameis' strengths, that deep ball, that's got to be one of his strengths. He's, really good. He's as good as it gets at that, would you say that? Yeah, look, he, he does a really good job on the deep ball. Um, and and he, he showed it today. And uh, uh, so, look, that's something he does well. That's something we're going to utilize. I think he looks good out here. Like, I don't want to get into percentages, but but yeah, I feel confident with where he's at. We'll we'll evaluate that as we go. We haven't really even discussed that. We're, you know, we're we're just into the start of week two of training camp, so we're going to focus in on what we're doing here right now, and then. There'll be a point in time where we got to make that decision and discuss that, and, and uh, when that comes up, we will. No, other than um, he's working his way back in, um, and uh, he's had a couple of couple of days. We'll continue to, to ramp him up and progress him as as uh, uh, as he gets well. Uh, but it's certainly good to have him back out here. Are there any specific kind of benchmarks or things you're looking for in terms of getting back in the team drills once you return to practice? How has that been working for guys like Mike and Pete? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a plan with all of these guys, um, and that plan is 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 uh, is fluid um, based on how a guy's doing, and, and a lot of it is um, in conjunction with the medical staff and and where do they feel like the player is, and then we kind of make our decision as a as an organization, how we want to move forward with it. Yeah, I like James Hurst. James Hurst has been a good player in our league. Um, played well for us last year. So I think he's a, I think he's a great piece to have on our football team. All good? Okay, thanks guys.